Hello and welcome to this video showcasing the Ike's Weather Widget uh, Device Profile feature. This is a feature new to the 019 update, which is uh, due to be released soon. Uh, here we have Ike's Weather Widget on a Galaxy uh, tab. In portrait mode it looks uh, fine, but if we switch to landscape mode we see that uh, it looks pretty bad. Um, this is because the Android framework does not uh, allow the widget uh, to know exactly how wide or high it can be. Um, because of this, uh, Ix is traditionally always rendered to the minimally available area. Uh, using device profiles, uh, we can enter the uh, configuration menu, enter device profiles, and uh, we can activate device specific dimensions. Uh, so we no longer need to render to the minimally available. Uh, we can now render to what's actually available. Uh, so what we do now is we um, start by looking uh, to check if the database already has a profile available for this device. So we press sync. Uh, sadly, we get the message that no matching profile was found and that a calibration is needed. So there was no existing data in the database, so we'll have to do a manual calibration. So uh, we press the calibrate button, and uh, we now we've now entered the uh, calibration mode. So here we have the widget in landscape horizontal calibration. So you see there's a calibration pattern here, and uh, we can using the plus and minus signs increase or de uh, increase or decrease the uh, horizontal uh, the horizontal width uh, of the widget. So. By increasing the width, you see the pattern changes because what's happening is that the widget is being rendered to uh, the dimensions listed here, which you can adjust. But the widget image is then being resized to the actually available area for the widget. Because of this uh, resize operation, um, this resampling, uh, you get an interference pattern. And using this interference pattern, we can uh, calibrate the widget uh, such that we can figure out the exact available dimensions. So by increasing the width a bit here up to 480 pixels, uh, we see that the calibration pattern uh, now is just straight lines without any blur. The interference pattern uh, has gone away. Well, once you go past 480, you see a strong pattern uh, again. So we go to the uh, uh, to the um, value we found 480 and then we confirm it by pressing the center button and we can now uh, calibrate the landscape vertical mode here again we need to increase the resolution a bit or increase the uh, height a bit and then we uh, end up at 480 by 96 pixels you see once I go past we get the pattern again go down to 96 and it's all good so we press the center button and that's the widget calibrated you can see it's now quite uh, tall, uh, it's a bit taller than earlier. And uh, we can also enter UI settings and uh, activate the uh, top bar so we can uh, top text visibility always. There we go. And apply changes. So that's now the widget in uh, landscape mode and it looks a lot better. So what we're going to do is, since we've now found the correct uh, resolution for landscape mode for this device, we can enter the device profiles and we can submit these dimensions by pressing the submit button. So 480 by 96 was the correct resolution we found. So we submit that and that's now submitted to uh, the database. So if we now do a sync we can now see that uh, instead of getting a red box saying that there was no matching profile, we now get a yellow box saying that there is user submitted dimensions which may not be valid. But this means that by, sub by different users, various users submitting their dimensions, uh, those data act acts as votes such that when a new user comes along and they try to download uh, data from the database, they will get the most popular configurations uh, for their device. Uh, you know, by votes. Uh, because this is not foolproof, uh, there is also a mechanism to promote uh, w confirmed uh, correct dimensions, uh, which can then be recommended. 
uh, we'll see this here using a Galaxy Nexus. So we have the Nexus, and there we go. Right here we have an IX widget, and we enter the device profiles, and activate device pro specific dimensions, and sync. And here we have two green boxes saying that we have two recommended layouts. So here data already exists in the database and has been recommended and uh, those will now show up as recommended layouts to the user and uh, they will be applied directly. So there we go. And uh, yeah, so this is how it looks on the Galaxy Nexus. Of course, it doesn't have uh, the same effect here as it has on the uh, tablet. But with this new feature, you can now get the correct device uh, specific resolution for the widget uh, on all devices, uh, which is a nice improvement. So, I hope this video wasn't too long, I tried to shorten it down. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, so uh, if you have any troubles, please send me an email and I'll try to explain it.